Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. We are in a brand spanking new spot on chataboutit.com. And, yep, we're getting everything going, getting uh, everything dialed in, got the equipment working just right, and ready to kick off this great spot. For many of you that are used to hearing us later on in the day on Tuesday, well, guess what? We're here right now. We're going to be coming to you live each and every week, 4 o'clock Pacific time, 7 o'clock Eastern, and we're going to be bringing you people that have set out to uplift, inspire, and create passionate, passionate invitations for all of us. My guest today, as many people would say, she needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce her anyway because I love talking about her. She is a dear friend of mine and made an incredible incredible mark in so many places in the world. I'm referring to Dee Wallace. She's been an actress in film, television, and stage for 30 years. And the bottom line is she knows movies, successful films in my lifetime. And that is, all of us, all of us know that, E.T. And so Dee's joining us here today as someone that has been able to take a look at her life look at what's working in it, decide that there is a calling that is absolutely suited for her, and then to take action. She is also the author of Conscious Creation, Directing Energy to Get the Life You Want. So Dee Wallace, actor, and also she is an amazing, an amazing healer. Now, we may be getting a little bit stuff going on the line here, but I'm not sure. Dee, are you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. It dropped out uh, two or three times just briefly, but I got you, baby. I tell you, every time you and I get on the line, we can almost anticipate that some kind of electrical <laughs> craziness Isn't is going true? to happen. It's so yeah. true that we've just got some energy together, baby cakes. That's all there we is got, to it. We got some serious energy together. We should have told... Ivan over there at CBS, who's producing and managing all the technical stuff, that uh, he better be ready and alert for today's show. Yeah, well, you know, it's really just kind of a representation of a lot of what's going on right now, communication Mm -hmm. and miscommunication, and not really wanting to communicate exactly what we want to communicate, any and all variables thereof. Mm up big time in the field right now, really big time. And um, I'm going to give you a really funny analogy that Source, who has, as you know, Pat, a wonderful sense of humor, (laughs) gave me uh, driving back uh, to do the show, that basically what's going on is those of us that are on this little healing journey, this massive healing journey, um, We've been growing a lot of blackheads for a long time, okay? And they've just grown and festered, and they're a full-blown pimple ready to pop right now. Mm-hmm. Every, if you think you're looking at your life going, damn, I thought I'd handled that one. I thought I'd done that. I thought that one was behind me. That's what's going on, that everything that you have to address in your life in order for you to completely move on into this new energy is coming to a head, literally. And you just got to go, come on, I want to look at it. I want to look at all the pus you got there and get rid of it once and for all. Well, and, you know, this is really a great time for all of us to, to not be afraid to step out with our dreams either. I mean, we're talking about communication here, right? 
Uh, yes, and yet at the same time, we're not even communicating with ourselves. Well, and that everything's got to start with yourself. You know that. that I'm, I'm a big proponent on you want to change your life, start loving yourself more. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself first. And then you will be filled up with your own enoughness and your own beingness that you can, you know, take all that love out and touch others with it. But you can't do it if you don't do it for yourself first. You know, they even tell you on the airplane, put your mask on first. But we are taught to put ourselves at the end of the line when it when it comes to the people we love, the people we honor, and to who we want to uh, care for the most. We put ourselves at the end of the line, and that's we got to turn that around. You've got, I'm giving you all permission out there, you know, to go against what mom said and play with your toy if you want to play with it <laughs> instead of giving it away. Well, you know, one of the things, Dee, I wanted to talk with you about is, uh, you know, many of, many of us know you as uh, this phenomenal actor. We've seen you in movies. Uh, E.T., The Howling, and many others. We've seen you on television and television series. And yet, when we go to the website, uh, officialdwallace.com, we're presented with a very interesting question. And the very interesting question is, healer or actor? The other part of the question is, how do you integrate both? Well, you know, that's such an easy answer, but thanks for asking because I get it all the time. I think you heal with the essence of who you are. I think it is your light and your beingness that heals. And you take your light and your beingness into anything and everything you do. So every time you see me on screen, I am bringing my essence of love to the screen. And when I do my healing work, I am bringing my essence of love to that. People say, well, how... How can you explain doing all these horror films, Dee, you know, and then you turn around and heal? I mean, that's kind of an oxymoron, you know. And I love it when I get that question because really, truthfully, guys, we're, we are all creating our own horror film in our lives. We're, we're all afraid of something. We're all afraid of facing the something and dealing with it. And... Um, the horror films, that's what they do for people. They go to horror films just like all the Disney films have all those characters in them, and it gives us a chance to face our fears. And, oh, yeah. You know, face well, them we're head gonna, on. We're going to face them head on when we come back for a break. Dee Wallace uh, is joining me today, actor extraordinaire and author of Conscious Creation. When we come back, we're going to be talking about how we claim our power in the new energy with author, actress, Dee Wallace. Do you like where your health and looks are headed? Or are you ready for a total transformation? Your dollars and days off have never been more precious, so why waste them on anything other than lasting, real rejuvenation? Sure, there are expensive spa vacations, and then there's total transformation. Join best-selling author Kat James in a gorgeous mountain setting where you'll learn the very food and self-care principles that transformed her beyond recognition without self-deprivation. Break free from the food and beauty self-sabotage and spend five days with the woman Self Magazine calls a master of self-transformation. You will even celebrate the new you with a world-class makeover and photo shoot. Want a total transformation but can't afford to get away? A 10 cats teleprogram from your home via computer or phone. Make 2009 your year for total transformation. Call us at 877-54-TOTAL or visit us at totaltransformation.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Are you feeling a little lost? Powerless to overcome your challenges? 
Don Stansfield is a compassionate healer and intuitive messenger who focuses on your self-empowerment by examining current day circumstances, whether they are past, present, or future. She offers practical tools to help you overcome difficult situations and move forward in your life path. For a private consultation, contact Dawn today at 425-453-8180 or visit dawnsvision.com. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. And Dee Wallace is in the house. I am so absolutely jazzed. As I said before, she is the author of Conscious Creation, Directing Energy to Get the Life You Want. And we're talking about what it means to have that energy, what it means to have the new consciousness. Dee, thank you for joining us here today. Um, Wow, it's great to have you back on. Oh, you know, I I just have so much fun with you, Pat, and I love you so much. You were one of the first people that believed in me, uh, from actress to healer, and and you've supported me so much, and it's just a joy to be here. Well, and that's what we do, and that's really the new part of the new energy. You bet. I mean, we were talking about the new consciousness, and I wanted to hear your perspective on that. Uh, You know, basically, we know that everything's energy. And that energy has been around a long time. But basically, we're literally bringing in new energy right now, creating new energy. And if we are going to move forward in this new energy, we have to consciously direct what we want. Uh, In the old Hebrew, you know, ask and you will receive. In the old Hebrew, ask was claim or demand, not, gee, if I'm worthy and you really think I'm okay, could you give it to me, please? It was, this is what I want, this is what I'm claiming, deliver this to me now. And that's why I I so encourage people to move forward in their power. If, If those of us on the path of the new consciousness and the new energy who want to bring and manifest healing into the world and love into the world and balance into the world and a joyful state into this world where we live in health, we live in uh, abundance for everyone, um, then we've got to take charge of our own lives. And for way, way too long, we've been allowing ourselves to be victims uh, because victims get to feel sorry for themselves and not move into their power and not be responsible. So every time we say, I am anything, it's an instant message to the universe Create that for me. You get up in the morning and you say, oh, I'm tired. You're going, I am tired. So I am directing myself and the source that I'm in partnership with. Give me more tired, please. You say, I don't have enough. I am a person who doesn't have enough. You are literally directing your life without not knowing it. Another way uh, that we live unconsciously, especially now, is the media. Most of us are planted in front of computers and televisions and cell phones that give us constant messages about um, ill health, for example, just to take one subject. Ill health, what, uh, what age you're going to get old at. I mean, hello, I'm 60. I'm not flipping old. My energy's really young. And, and when I see those, I sit there and I consciously choose to go, you know what, not in my life. I'm, I'm aging younger every day, and that's how I'm directing my life. And I get that said back to me, Pat, all the time. My God, where do you get your energy? It's like you're, you know, 40. So I, I'm saying we have to become conscious of what we're being fed. And you can see in the world that that's starting to happen that all of the money stuff and and the challenges monetarily that the world is going through right now, that's no coincidence. We all became conscious that there was an imbalance that we didn't want. Now, we could have become conscious and directed exactly what we wanted instead of had to have all this fallout. 
And that's what I'm encouraging people to do in my book. You, you know, you don't have to get sick. They don't even have a word for menopause in Japan. And we're being kind of indoctrinated in, and addicted uh, subconsciously to all these things because we are not choosing to direct our own lives. Well, and part of the conversation is realizing that this is what's happening. I was uh, at, you know, at, at an event not too long ago, and, you know, they were watching a, a some kind of television show, and and then the commercials came on, and I was fascinated by them. Uh, pill, potion, lotion, drug for something. I mean, you kind of name it, it was on the commercials. And, yeah, I know. And, you know, and, and so we already buy into the fact that we're not well. And even if we are well, because we're being told that right. there is a message of not wellness. So subconsciously we move into the fear, you know. We move into the fear. The fear creates us focusing more on it. And, and we literally can even create, as you know, diseases by the fact that we focus on what we're going to get. You can create it within yourself. So I'm asking you, what do you want to create? You want to create health and, and wellness, or do you want to create sickness and, and, and dis-ease in your body? But most of us just are not consciously even aware that this is happening. And so I'm urging people... If, if you want to truly and, and move into the new consciousness and create at an unbelievable rate in your life right now, you need to be conscious of what's being fed to you, what your thoughts are, where your focus of your energy is, all of the above, and, and really say what you want. It's so funny. When I teach seminars, um, people will say, well, you know, I want more abundance in my life. I said, well, what does that mean? Well, you know, I want to be abundant. Well, what does that mean? Well, I want to be blessed with abundance. Well, what is that? Well, bottom line, they're saying, I want more money. <laughs> but they, they won't come out and say, I want more money. And, and that's kind of like a director saying to me, uh, you know, D, do something emotional. And I'm going, well, I, that's not a clear enough direction for me, thanks. And the universe is saying the same thing to all of us. Say what you flippin' want. You want money. You want abundance. You want um, um, joy in your life. You see, what, why we want all these things, Pat, is because we want the experience that those things give us. So right now, just to everybody listening or in the future, why do you want money? What experience? Is that going to give you freedom, joy, happiness, safety? What is, is the highest experience that that's going to give you? That's really what you're asking the universe to give you. And if you're asking for that in money, you're asking for it in relationships, you're asking for it in health, you're asking for every experience in your life. For me, the highest word is freedom. And I start so my morning every day. Okay, D, I'm directing you and the universe that you are in partnership with to deliver and create every moment within every moment of my life freedom today. You know, the power of ta even saying the word freedom, I, I think that all of you listening to the show right now, uh, D Wallace is my very special guest. We know her as a superb actor in the movie E.T., The Howling, and many others, uh, also the author of Conscious Creation, Directing Energy to Get the Life You Want. She is a healer. If you want to find out more, you can go to her website, um, which is www.officialdwallace.com, and you will be able to check out what she's up to and much more. But this is a show today on the Dr. Pat Show, tonight's show is about inviting all of you to step in to your fullness, to the greatest expression you could be. And, you know, if we use some of the teachings that Dee says, I am a teacher, I am a healer, I am an actress, 
the word I am, D, brings in some incredibly, incredibly powerful, powerful messages. Well, it Tell invokes, me about the I am. Yeah, the I am uh, invokes instantly all energy working toward what your claim is. So as soon as you say, I am freedom, and I want to be clear that you're not saying, okay, I am freedom so I can have freedom. I am freedom so I can get freedom. I am freedom so I can get money. You're, when you say that, I want you to move within yourself and experience yourself as the consciousness of freedom itself. You see, if, if we are the money, if our consciousness is money, if our consciousness is joy, if our consciousness is freedom, then there is nothing outside of ourselves that we don't have. But what we do, Pat, is we keep looking for everything outside of ourselves so that we can experience ourselves as that. And it works the opposite way around. You have to experience yourself as the energy of love in order to experience love in your life. Well, Other people we're gonna... can't do it for you. And if you keep looking for a significant other or a big movie or, or a, a job or a job or an amount of money to create the experience in your life, you will get it fleetingly and quickly, but you will never mo- totally move into the experience of the safety and the consistency of what you want. And, you know, part of this is looking at the balance of energy and looking at those things in our lives that give us the courage to be exactly what we want to be. We're going to take a short break. Dee Wallace joining me here today on the Dr. Pat Show. If you want to find out more about Dee, just go to her website, officialdwallace.com, D-E-E-W-A-L-L-A-A-C-E.com. If you want to find out more about the Dr. Pat Show, go to www thedrpatshow.com or simply Dr. Pat Live. When we come back, we're going to be talking with Dee about something incredible she's created, this new sheet, this new balance of how we can have our energy be the most powerful energy we can imagine. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Dr. Pat Show. you know how to live courageously? Have you mastered your own mind power to create abundance in every area of your life? With Dr. Joanne White's empowering seminars and books, you'll supercharge your own abilities. The success doc, author, speaker, life, and business coach will help you transform your life and exceed your expectations. Call 1-877-DOC-WHITE or visit docwhite.org to live your dreams right now. Do you suffer from insomnia, body aches, fatigue, brain fog, digestive problems, weight gain, or anxiety? You may be dealing with unmanaged stress. The Stress Detective looks for the hidden messages within your stress and partners with you to create a wellness program to dismantle stress from the inside out. Learn to manage your stress, and you can stop illness in its tracks. Call Susan Tyler at 888-629-4949 or visit stressdetective.net. Are you living your life to the max? Is there anything you would like to change about how you feel or what you're experiencing? You can have anything you want, and empowerment psychic Linda Dickinson can show you the way. Living your life to the max is more than a catchphrase. It's what we intended when we came into this life. Empowerment Psychic Medium, Linda Dickinson, online at InMyFuture.com. For private sessions, call 800-206-9096. Live your life to the max. Is Egypt calling you? Join Dr. Friedemann Schaub and Danielle Rama Hoffman for an initiatory journey to Egypt, May 2010. Picture yourself meditating in the Great Pyramid, cruising down the Nile on a private sailing yacht, and exploring ancient temples in exclusive visits. For a journey that expands your consciousness and opens your heart, call 866-903-6463 or visit EgyptIsCalling.com.
Wow. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. And I've got Dee Wallace in the house. Yes, absolutely joining me here today. We're taking callers. Why? Oh, we are? Wait to you. Yeah, let's take some callers. Oh, I think we should I have some that. folks call in. Uh, they have not experienced you and uh, what it's like to be in your presence as I have. And we want to get some callers in here that want to have an experience of what it's like to have uh, D. Wallace work with you, how she reads your energy, how she gets a sense of, you know, what the guides are saying to you. You can do that very easily by giving us a shout, 877-242-8212, 877-242-8212. Give us a shout, and we will take your calls. Dee, let's give out some information uh, about your website and about some of the things that you are creating right now. Oh, it's a really exciting time right now. Um, <clears throat> we are getting ready to do a cruise uh, the 1st of November. There's still some room. There's uh, 10 or more now amazing healers. Uh, that are going to be with me uh, on this cruise um, uh, out of San Diego. It's so unbelievably affordable, Pat. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, you know, we're going to sing and dance and uh, drink and heal and just have a really balanced time going to down to Baja. So if you're interested in that, you can check out uh, the Law of Attraction Talk Radio or you can um, check out my website, or you can email me at ConsciousCreation101 at Yahoo.com because it's going to be an amazing time. We've got some some beautiful, beautiful healers coming aboard for you. And um, uh, as you know, um, I am being very blessed uh, to do my own radio shows now and um, have a wonderful one on the Law of Attraction. And all of this is because of you, you know, because you believed in me and encouraged me to do all this, Pat. And I I really do want to come forward and let your listeners know that even within the healing um, industry, um, there are many people that do not hold the highest intention in our – or somehow their intention gets – combobbled along the way into the money and the, you know, the prestige and the ego thing. And you're just the real real deal, man. You just come forward when, I'll never forget what you said to me. You, you said, you know, Dee, you've just got something and I have to help you. Those were your words. Mm. And mm-hmm. um, so I honor you truly from my heart and for all the people that you bring forward uh, in, in truthfulness for everybody out there. So thanks, Pat. Um, I, you know, I do my, my private healing sessions have just gone through the roof. Um, we're so successful, as you know, Pat, over the phone because uh, yep. you've done shows and, and, and private work, too, with me. So. Um, that's really taken off. I'm, I uh, tell everybody I try and keep it, and it's unbelievably affordable, as you know. Yeah. Um, and I, they say, well, what can we do at the end of, of, of the talks, you know, the sessions? I say just if, if you felt like you received discernment and peace, let somebody else know. That's, that's all I ask. So uh, all those things are going great. I'm still acting. I've got uh, four films coming out. Wow, great. And um, um, and I've just finished my third book. I'm looking for a publisher right now. And it's um, she says humbly, it's really amazing. It's the spiritual lessons of an actor's journey. But I love it. It's, it's really every man's story told through mine. And, I love it. You know, they may think of me as a movie star, but you know I'm just the girl next door from Kansas. That's really who I am, so... You know, you're the girl that I wish lived next door. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We've got a caller on the line, Dee. Why don't we go to the phones? Hey, Ivan, who do we have? Hello. Hey, Jane, how are you? I'm great. Um, thanks for taking my call. 
Um, uh, Dee, I met you at the Northwest Women's Show here in Seattle um, earlier in the year, and yes. um, you, you sat with me for about five minutes and helped me really generate a breakthrough uh, in my, my own um, feeling of, of deserving love in my life. And since then, um, I have a new baby on the way, and oh, um, I just awesome. got married last weekend. And, um, and I have to say that um, kind of, you know, what you've helped me to manifest in my life um, has been, you know, pretty tremendous. And I, I'm at a place right now where I, um, I see great potential and there's also great temptation to, um, you know, feel concerned about messing things up in some way. Yeah, okay, um, so they're stopping me. They're saying you have to stop right now because there's con- conflicting messages um, within what you just said, and you actually knew that. But the baby, <laughs> the baby is coming forward to give you information, okay? And it's around you, those are the highest words, moving forward, okay? So we're going to balance all that, moving forward, not moving forward, and the still point or the zero point, which I will explain in a minute, um, that lies therein. I want to invoke my new sheet. I am divine love. It's all balanced, and now we're going to give you discernment, and the baby... The baby keeps coming forward saying, let her know that this is coming from me. Okay? So we're going to Sheets. But give me the first song that comes into your mind. Oh, my God. It's the same song as when I first met you. It's um, How Sweet It Is. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Right. <laughs> okay. It's so the same just, song. Just take a moment and reflect of the incredible beauty that is that your baby is giving you that message. Oh. Because I'm like beside myself sitting here. Uh, wow. That that. Your baby is saying it already feels your immense love, and can you feel that for yourself? So when you think of the love you have already, I'm being told, for this child, and I say you're matching that in yourself, I get a no. And that's what the baby is urging you to do. Come forward and match the love that you have. And and the highest word is unconditional. Unconditional love. And then they're going to tie it into whatever else you said. So, so that all is balanced. I want you to hear it's balanced. But they want me to explain to you how it dovetails into, can you remember the words that you used that you feel like you're going this way but that? What did what did you say to me? I said that uh, I feel like I've um, I, I've manifested so so much yes. um, wonderful mess. I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I, it's been. I feel like I've reached a point, um, but that I said, but that I feel that there's a great temptation to. Um, to and I'm not exactly sure what I said, but but I think I just I'm I'm concerned or worried about you know when when everything reaches a point of wow everything's great um, I guess it's a fear you know that fear of the other shoe dropping uh, that's what it feels like but in essence it's the fear that it doesn't have to anymore. Ah. <laughs> uh. You know, it's the fear of what am I going to do without this drama? Who am I if I don't have to put it back together again? And ultimately, what it's about is the fear of being God. Because, guys, when we move into manifestation as rapidly as you have, all right, and you see how effortless it is to switch it and how, how normal and natural it is to create the life that you want you go wow i'm god and then the next thought is holy hell i'm god (laughs) you know 
so uh, in there is, well, I can create everything I want. What if I create stuff I don't want? Okay, so with the yin is the yang. Are you with me? Yes. Did you get that, Jane? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we just balance that. We don't have to have, you don't have to have black to have white anymore. You can just have white. That's the new energy. That's the Hmm. new consciousness. We don't have to suffer in order to work our way up so that we can experience our power anymore. We can just experience our power by choice. We don't have to be victims in order to create love in our life or, or um, um, create attention in our life. We don't have to be victims to create anything in our life anymore. As a matter of fact, being victims will not create for you anymore because the energy is going, you know what, no more drama, no more drama. And I don't know if any of you resonate out here, out there, but what's going on is people or circumstances with drama are coming into our lives, and we're living with them now for three weeks, four weeks, and going, nah, I'm over this. I'm done here. Oh, absolutely. This is old energy. So uh, I, I know a lot of listeners are resonating with that because it's happening everywhere. Like, you know, you attract, um, uh, I don't know, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever. And it's great for a couple of weeks and then the drama starts. Well, instead of five years down the road or ten years down the road now, you're going, no, nope, I'm done. Moving on. Don't want the drama. I am creating divine love in my life. I am creating peace. I am creating freedom. And that is what your baby is coming in to share with you and to Mm. teach you. So remember these words, okay, because whatever is going on with this child, it's about teaching you peace and love and joy and Mm. unconditional love. For yourself first, and then for the child. Anywhere else we're going? Do you have okay, you got question? that, Jane. Yes, I, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very complete. much. So, do you have any thank questions? Thank you. What was the question? Uh, just, do, do you, you have any do you have a question about that, or do you feel kind of complete about it? Um, I, I feel, I, I think I feel complete about it. I, I mean, I. It makes sense. What you just said makes sense, and I'm kind of just processing processing mm-hmm. it. Um, and I, when you when you said the words, you know, balancing out with unconditional love, um, that okay. makes a lot of sense because okay, but hold something on. We, we have to balance something because you see, she gets it, but she doesn't get it. You can hear that in her voice, right? Well, l- let's do this. Let's take a break, and I think you'll be able to talk to Jane during the break. Uh, when we come back, we'll be back with Dee Wallace and the Dr. Pat Show. Jane, I think you'll be able to talk to Dee during the break. Let's take a shorty. We'll be right back, everyone. Hi, this is Anna Luque, author of The Yogurt Diet. Based on scientific research, this lifestyle has been carefully formulated to promote weight loss and boost the immune system. The Yogurt Diet will help you achieve overall balance and radiant health, even if you suffer from lactose and gluten intolerance, yeast infections, digestive problems, and more. Consuming yogurt daily is an excellent way to optimum health and ideal weight. And the yogurt I recommend is Greek God's Greek Yogurt. So thick and creamy. Greek God's yogurt is simply yogurtlicious. Greek God's yogurt is full of probiotic bacteria, good for overall health. And it's made with all natural ingredients in the same tradition yogurt has been made in Greece for centuries. 
Try the Greek God's popular honey yogurt or the tangy yet subtly sweet pomegranate. Don't forget to try the new Greek God's kefir cheese spread. Great for dips or as a healthy substitute for sour cream. Be happy. Go Greek. Experience the myth. Athletes, diabetics, moms, let me tell you about a new high-tech energy gel called Chocolate Number no. 9. Chocolate Number no. 9 is made with only organic agave and the finest dark roast Belgian cocos. Number 9 contains no refined sugar. Number 9 is a certified low glycemic index item, and best of all, Chocolate Number no. 9 simply tastes great. Find out more at chocolatenumber9.com or call 866-999-1909. That's 866-999-1909. Perfco Green, biodegradable by nature, green by choice. Traditional trash bags stay in our landfills and pollute the earth for over 800 years or more. Perfco Green trash bags disappear naturally within two years and leave nothing harmful behind. Convert your home, school, and business to Perfco Green. Now available at Walgreen, Amazon.com, OfficeMax, and other local stores. Visit PerfcoGreen.com. That's P-E-R-F, GoGreen.com. Wow, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive by. Hey Michael, we dropped you or you got dropped. If you want to call in to the show, give us a shout. You can go ahead and do that. We've got that toll-free number for you if you'd like to connect with D. Wallace, 877-242-8212. 877-242-8212 is the number. Give us a shout here at the studio to connect with actor, healer, D. Wallace. Thank you so much. Wasn't that a great call? Oh, it was awesome. And I just want to share with everybody what we got to briefly around the break was she kept saying, I feel like I have this great opportunity, and I kept getting a no. And what it was really about was that that she is the new consciousness, and that's what she needed to claim. So I'm mm-hmm. assuming then that all of us should come forward and, with the opportunity of claiming that I am the new consciousness. I am the consciousness of the consciousness itself, and so it is. So that's mm-hmm. pretty awesome. Yeah. That's pretty well, staggering. It is, uh, you know, it is pretty awesome. And so, it, you know, it's kind of really cool about that, um, that we're able to to do this. Um, you know, and, and what's happening, Dee, is that we've got people sort of all over the map when it comes to energy. And I wanted to ask you this question. I mean, if in fact we are and it is our divine birthright, to have abundance and prosperity in our lives, why do some people have it, and why why don't people? Well, obviously, some people are consciously creating it, you know, and they're giving me that statement, them that has gets, you know. Well, sure, mm-hmm. because uh, people like uh, Donald Trump, you know, he's always had it. He knows even if he loses it, he's going to have it again. There's not that self-doubt. Um, I uh, uh, am friends with this lawyer from the Midwest, and he said, you know, I, I come from this little town, D, and nobody ever had anything, and I just always said, well, that's not going to be me. I'm always going to have lots of money. And it was always okay with me to have lots of money, so I do have lots of money. And I, I think a lot of it, Pat, too, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody here, but religion has dumped a lot of junk on us about money. And money doesn't do anything. Money is a piece of paper. It has no energy unless the person behind it gives it the energy through its intention. So mm-hmm. you can have money and support something great like the Pachamama Alliance, or you can have money and go blow it on, you know, um, stuff that really doesn't serve anybody, anything, anywhere in life. You can choose to do with your money whatever you want. And I love uh, the book by Lynn Twist, The Soul of Money. 
Right. It's an amazing book, and it shifted my life considerably because basically she asked, what essence, what do you want your money to say? What do you want your money to stand for? What is the spiritual part of your money about? And I never looked at it that way. Money for me was always something I had to make in order to pay stuff that I had to pay. So we've got Jane who's come back. She says she has one more question. I guess we got things rolling with her. Jane, are you there? I I am. And, you know, Dee, I was just really interested in um, what you said right before um, the the last segment, and that was that I am the new consciousness. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I don't mean to be just stuck in my my brain and in the um, the that's all right. Just go ahead. Logical part of this, but I I want to really get what you said. Mm. What I said was, you are the consciousness itself. Mm-hmm. You are. See, I've been saying you are the consciousness of money. You are the consciousness of freedom. You are the consciousness of a new relationship. You are it. And and what just came in is. We are the consciousness of the consciousness. So we are God consciousness. We are the consciousness that creates the consciousness of everything. And that's pretty huge. Yeah, that's really huge. But we have to claim it in order to be it, you know. In the good book, God said, I am that I am. So I have to claim that I am if I'm going to be. And that's what we're being asked. What do you consciously want to claim for yourself? Do it. Don't be afraid to ask for everything you want and then focus only on what you've asked for, mm. what you've claimed. Not all, that other, not all that other crap, right? No, another, you know, shit happens, guys. And if shit happens and we look at the shit and go, oh, oh, shit happens and I don't want that shit. Just keep more getting more involved in the doo doo, you know. Well, and that's part of it. I mean, you know, all of this is really to really face up some of the stuff that's facing us in our lives, and make a decision. You know, consciousness is a decision we make. Yeah, you got to choose, Pat. Yeah, you got to pick. Uh, and Jane, I hope you did. I don't know if you're still there or not. Did we get you okay? Yeah, that, I, I think you really did um, make it clear for me, and. Uh, Well, I'm going to make it crystal clear for you and everybody else listening to this show. When you wake up every day and you desire to have abundance in your life or perfect health or you want to have the best thing that's going on in your life, then why are we focusing on what was not here And, you know, all of us have had times in our lives where we were financially hurting, where the love of our lives left us, uh, where our health was going down the toilet. As a matter of fact, I think I've had all of those at the same time. (laughs) But the question is going to be, the question is going to be, Jane, and Dee, I think you'll agree with me on this, is are you going to wake up today and focus on the crap or are you going to focus on the bullseye? Are you going to focus on the target, what you want, and not let anything keep you away from source? Because it is that higher power and source that's giving you that dream. That divine love. If you just focus and, and hold the intention that you are divine love, everyone is divine love, your intention is to create divine love, receive divine love, you know, you can't really focus on the crap. And I want to speak just a a, a minute here about this new sheet, Pat, because, as you know, um, I work with sheets that represent about eight years of work. But this new sheet, and this is the first piece of of additional work that we have been directed, we, my healing partners and I, have been directed to create for uh, in just about eight years, okay? Um, it's an amazing piece of love and gold that I'm coming forward to offer everyone. If you're interested in this sheet, all you have to do is email me at consciouscreation101 at yahoo.com, and I will email you this new sheet. But I want you 
to hear from me how precious this information is. It's the, and all of the other information, everything that we have compiled for the last 12 years is involved in this sheet, is represented wow. on this sheet. OfficialDWallace.com is the website. The DrPatShow.com is our website. And Consciousness is Conscious, your website. Conscious we'll see you guys next world. time. We'll see you all next time. Great show. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Jane. Thank you all for tuning in to the Dr. Pat Show.